Okay, so in this video, we're going to set up our shop page. So if I click on shop, and you'll see I've already gone ahead and put this together for, and I don't mind if you're promoting YMN Pull Away, if you want to grab this exact text off me, that's up to you. You just go to greatlifehappiness.com slash shop. Um, but basically, I just um, wrote a bit of a blurb about it. I put in a product image that I grabbed from the affiliates area. But then I didn't just put this product in there. I actually also linked to a couple of products on Amazon as well. If you're an affiliate on Amazon, you can also link using your affiliate link. Um, it's not always that easy to get signed up as an affiliate these days. So I wouldn't be too worried if you're linking directly with no affiliate link. The this purpose of this page is not to make money. It's more to satisfy um, a human reviewer at Facebook or Google who's been asked to say, is it clear and obvious uh, how to buy products from this website? Are there more that, is there more than one product available to be purchased? Is there a, is there a shop section or catalog on this website uh, where they can see other available products for purchase? All of these sort of things that may or may not come up in a human review depending on the site. Uh, you're advertising on this just adds to it and, and it just makes it look trustworthy um, so basically that's it I mean I just grabbed that from Amazon itself even I uh, t grabbed the cover from Amazon I just took a quick screenshot of it put it in there and put my link there uh, simple as that um, so I'll just click preview so you can see what it looks like um, so at this stage, obviously we're going to redo our side menu and stuff, but there we go. You've got your shop there, there. We will add the link to the page. Somebody though potentially could click the shop button, I guess, and may click on it and buy it. It's up to them. But, um, oh, the other thing is I used a special, uh, link here. I, I used, um, it's, it'll link to direct to the order form and I'll show you how I did that. Um, now, I made sure not to make any promises in here that are not in the sales page. You can get in trouble with the merchant if you go ahead and make false promises about a product. Um, again, I'm not really expecting sales from that page. But if I go back in to my dashboard and I go over to um, Pretty Links, because that's where I made my link, um, I made this one um, over here. And if I just click edit we'll see that at men pull order at that one there we link to the checkout that's just for my own knowledge here it says secure checkout you just see that in pretty links other people won't see that and all I did was I grabbed the product ID number and I'll show you how to do that I'm just over at the sales page itself you may need to refresh it in order to see the add to cart um, and then I just click add to cart there and it's loading up. I will deselect the recurring billing. Uh, this recurring billing may not even be available at this point. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, I'm not sure. We're going to be doing some split tests with and without it as an option. But again, um, so if it's not an option, it'll just go straight to the checkout anyway. But if you see this, just uncheck that and go to the checkout because on that shop page, you have a, it's better just to go straight to the version with no recurring option. And then now that I'm in here, this is my uh, this is my page here, and all I'm looking for is, I'm looking for the item number and the CB skin number. Okay, 146, and then CB skin equals that there. Okay, I can add the timer in if I wanna have the timer, but I've opted to go with no timer for this particular version of the page. So now I just copy that CB skin there, and I go back here and I just type in um, the item number, which we already grabbed, 146 dot, and then my affiliate ID, underscore, and then the ID of the product you're promoting, which is Meet YS in this case, because that's the, um, that's the ClickBank ID of the product itself, um, dot pay, dot ClickBank, dot net, uh, question mark CB skin equals and that's where I put my CB skin if you're not sure what it is what that overall thing is you may have to look it up in the Clickbank marketplace but in this case if you're going to link direct to Wyman pull away that's how 
you do it through an affiliate link. You just put item number 146 dot whatever your affiliate ID is. You don't even have to look it up. I'm giving it to you. But if you are doing it for another product you're promoting, that's what you'd do. Um, and then whatever that ID is, dot pay dot kitbent dot net. So you just type in that. And then I linked it to, and, I, and it's men pull order. So greatlifehappiness.com slash men pull order. And then on my sales, my shop page, when you go and um, hover over that link, it'll it won't show hop.clickbank.net or whatever. It just shows greatlifehappiness.com slash um, men pull order or something like that. Um, so if I go back to shop,